Lots changed since you've been gone. With hundreds of films from around the world available on the streaming giant that has changed the game, how does one even know what to watch when they fire up their Netflix? Let's start here. We've gone through the many films available on the platform and narrowed down the selection to the 10 most popular titles on Netflix right now. But before we delve into the list, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on more thrilling content. Number 10, 365 Days, 2020. Based on the first novel of the erotic trilogy of the same name by author Blanca Lipinska, 365 Days is a love story between an Italian mafia boss and a Polish businesswoman. The movie follows Massimo, who becomes obsessed with Laura, after seeing her on the beach on the same day that his father was killed by a rival gang. Massimo himself was injured in the attack, and Laura's face was the last thing he remembers seeing before losing consciousness. He spends the next five years looking for her all around the world. Eventually, he finds her in Sicily with her boyfriend, Martin. Instead of courting her, Massimo kidnaps Laura, and gives her 365 days to fall in love with him. The movie includes explicit sex scenes that were so realistic, some viewers thought the actors were actually having sex on camera. Number 9, Mea Culpa, 2024. Tyler Perry's thrilling legal drama, Mea Culpa, captivates audiences with a tale of love, betrayal, and a labyrinth of mysteries. Starring Kelly Rowland as Maya Harper in the lead role, the erotic thriller takes viewers on a journey where Maya, entangled in her own personal issues, takes up the seemingly damning task of defending Zaire Malloy, a man accused of murdering his girlfriend. Kelly Rowland shines as Maya Harper in this gripping tale of false accusations, betrayal, and intricate family drama. Maya and Zaire's turbulent relationship takes center stage in a story where truth, loyalty, and justice are put to the test. The film ends with a dramatic twist, revealing a conspiracy orchestrated by Maya's own family, leading to a tragic showdown. Number 8, Irish Wish, 2024. Lohan's career took a dramatic halt in 2007 due to personal issues, but she is making a comeback with Netflix movies like Irish Wish. The movie follows Maddie Kelly, a book editor who is in love with Paul Kennedy, the author whose book she has been editing for the past year. However, before Maddie can tell Paul her feelings, he falls for Maddie's friend Emma. Days away from the wedding in Ireland, a fairy grants Maddie's wish, magically altering her fate and turning her into the bride. This puts Maddie on a journey of self-discovery where she meets her true soulmate, a photographer named James. Despite mixed critical reviews, Lohan's performance in Irish Wish is receiving positive feedback, showing potential for a career revival. Now is the time to speak up. Number 7, Your Lucky Day, 2023. The late actor Angus Cloud stars in the action thriller Your Lucky Day. The storyline unfolds inside a store where a man, Laird, suddenly wins a $156 million lottery. Desperate to make a better life for himself, Sterling attempts to steal Laird's lottery ticket by pointing his gun at him. However, things take a grim turn when a cop appears in the store and tries to stop the robbery. A shootout ensues, and the cop accidentally kills Laird before getting shot himself. Desperate to keep the lottery prize, Sterling strikes a deal with the other witnesses of the crime. However, to his dismay, nothing goes as planned. Your Lucky Day showcases the late Angus Cloud's talent and ability to command a scene, making it a bittersweet gift for fans of his work. I will burn this ticket! Number 6, Players, 2024. Players is a formulaic but fun rom-com movie that follows Mac, a sports journalist who runs plays with her buddies Adam, Little, and Brannigan in order for them to have one-night stands and sexual flings. When a renowned sports author named Nick comes into their office, Mac decides that he's her next target. After sleeping together, Mac realizes she has romantic feelings for Nick and wants to run a play to start a relationship with him. The only problem is that none of the group's plays are meant to lead to a long-term relationship. As such, the group sets out to create entirely new plays so that Mac can get her man. However, by the end of Players, it's clear that not everything is as it appears. Players teaches a valuable lesson about idealizing others and the importance of honesty in relationships. It was about being with the people who get you. You guys are psycho. Number 5, Code 8, Part 2, 2024. 
Director Jeff Chan has teamed up with Robbie Amell and his cousin, Stephen Amell, once again for a sequel to 2019's successful sci-fi thriller, Code 8. In Code 8, Part 2, the story introduces viewers to a world where 4% of the population are born with powers. They are not considered superheroes but rather vilified by the public and the authorities. Set five years after the events of the first movie, the sequel follows Connor Reed as he is finally released from prison. He now seeks a quieter life working as a janitor in the local community center. However, when a young girl named Pavati witnesses her brother's death and discovers a well-guarded secret, Connor becomes the only person willing to protect her. Robbie and Stephen Amell excel as Connor and Garrett, displaying great chemistry on screen. The robotic villains are intricately designed, enhancing the sci-fi storyline. Number 4, Spaceman, 2024. Spaceman is the latest Netflix sci-fi film fronted by Adam Sandler and it is not afraid to explore some weird and unexpected territory that leaves its meaning in question. Based on Yaroslav Kalfaras' novel Spaceman in Bohemia, it follows the story of fictional astronaut Jakub Prochaska and his eight-month-long solo journey to investigate the mysterious Chopra space cloud above Earth. Along the way, Jakub encounters the telepathic alien spider Hanus, who helps him face his earthly struggles. However, not everything in Spaceman is straightforward, and its ending is particularly ambiguous. The film's storyline centers on self-awareness, with a touching emotional journey between Jakub and the alien Hanus, adding depth to the moody and contemplative narrative. Number 3, Alone, 2020. Skyrocketing in popularity on Netflix, Alone is a psychological horror that keeps us clutching the edge of our seats throughout each deliberate and resounding beat of the film. The movie follows Jessica, a young, recently widowed writer who flees the city to heal and work on a novel. While driving through the Pacific Northwest, she's tormented by a reckless driver. After a cat and mouse game, the man behind the wheel, an emotionless creep who fails miserably at turning on psychopathic fake charm, eventually captures Jessica and holds her in the basement of his remote cabin. After her escape, the chase is back on for Jessica. The psycho in pursuit is more clever than she could have imagined and willing to take out anyone who interferes with his hunt. With exceptional acting, the movie creates a tense predator versus prey dynamic, crafting nerve-wracking scenes that keep viewers on edge. I am coming for you. Number 2, Damsel, 2024. Billed as a dark fantasy, Damsel is at its absolute best when it is a survival thriller. In the film, Millie Bobby Brown plays a young girl named Elodie, hailing from a barren land, who agrees to marry the Prince of Orea in exchange for saving her impoverished people, only to discover that it was all a trap. Right after the wedding, she's driven to the mountains and ceremoniously thrown into a fire-breathing dragon's lair. Elodie uses every tool at her disposal to survive and find a way out. Damsel offers a refreshing twist on the classic damsel in distress trope. It has us rooting for the inexperienced princess to kick some butt and defeat dragons. Brown delivers a stunning performance, making the adventure both gripping and empowering until a very dramatic conclusion. Number 1, X, 2022. X is a subversive slasher thriller directed by T. West, set in the late 1970s. It follows the crew of a low-budget adult film called The Farmer's Daughter, shooting at an abandoned farm. While the film's geeky cinematographer R.J. claims he's trying to make an art film, its director and financier, Wayne considers it to be a straight-up porno. Wayne rents out the farmhouse from the elderly couple Howard and his wife Pearl, without informing them that he's bringing guests. The film stars Maxine, Jackson Hole, Bobby Lynn, and the sound operator Lorraine, pack themselves into the cabin for the night of the shoot. What follows is an increasingly brutal situation that may test the stomach of even the most dedicated horror movie buffs. The film pays homage to classic horror while delivering sick thrills, featuring stylized violence and risque sensuality. I see one. If you like a video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more content like this don't forget to subscribe to the channel.